To make no knead bread, we will start with three cups of bread flour or all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, Mix it all up. Then we'll add a cup of very warm water. Boil a pan of hot water. Mix the dough until it's shaggy. Cover with a loose towel. Next, transfer the water into a 9 by 12 baking dish. Place it in the oven. Add the pan of boiling water. We want to make sure that our oven is a cold oven. This oven is not hot. And we will set the timer for one hour. While we're waiting, get another pan of water ready. Now we will take our dough out. Take the water out because we will be replacing it. and it has grown in size. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle it with flour. And then you want to flour your surface. And get your bread out. I like to put flour on my hands for this. And we just want to move it around. Fold it over itself a little bit. Add a little more flour if you need to. There are some very sticky spots. And when you're done, tuck it under, put it back in the bowl.
cover with your towel. And place it back in the oven. Add your boiling water to your 9 by 12 pan again. Put your water in. Timer again for one hour. When your timer goes off, take your dough out and let it rest. That looks nice. Okay, we're gonna take it out one more time, roll it around. Flour, we're gonna take it out of the bowl. Now we'll use some parchment paper. We'll put it in our bowl and we'll put our dough on the parchment paper. And all we did was folded the bread under like we did before. And now we're going to let it rest. This time, it's only going in for 30 minutes. After the dough has rested for 30 minutes, it's time to bake. Put the oven on 350 and place a cast iron skillet inside. It will come up to temperature with the oven. When the oven is ready, we will now place the dough in the cast iron skillet. While it is still in the parchment paper. And we will bake for thirty five minutes. To check your bread, we're going to stick a knife in it. it's done and if it comes out and it's not clean you just want to put it back in for another five minutes and then take it out and check it again you can also take the bread out of the pan and turn it over and thump it with your finger and if it sounds hollow it's finished let the bread cool for about 10 minutes before you cut into it